three reasons why the May 2021 attempt for CFA level one had the lowest passing rate recorded in CFA's history. Ideally, level one has a passing rate on average of 45%, but in the May 21 attempt, it had a passing rate of 25%. So everybody's worried that CFA exam difficulty has increased or the syllabus has some new addendums which is going to cause more difficulty in passing CFA. Already there are people who feel CFA is extremely hard. We made a different video on that altogether. You can check that out where we actually explain the, the difficulty of CFA in comparison to the CA exam. For the 25% result, let me clarify a few things for all of those who might be you know, worried or scared and put your mind at ease. We have official confirmation from the CFA Institute that the difficulty level has not changed. So do not use that as a precedent, but there are several reasons why the passing rate has actually dipped. So reason number one, there have been so many cancellations in the last one year that people have sort of lost that little bit of touch to study the way they would have had there been no pandemic. It has affected people who could have passed uh, because of the delays and non-stop waiting and the last minute cancellations. People have actually had a difficult time studying for this exam. In fact, in May 21, the exam were not conducted in India. This is one problem, the waiting period. Second, the confirmation of giving the exam was very last minute. Most people who gave the exam in May sort of were given confirmation that they were going to be appear because think about it, they've not been able to appear for exams since the pandemic really began. They were not sure if the May exam would be conducted or not. And the confirmation came just a month before, somewhere in April for majority. For Indians, it just got cancelled. But the countries where it was allowed, it was last minute. So a lot of students were not given adequate time to prepare mentally that, okay, I have to give this exam. Third, which is sort of an extension of the first and second point, all the candidates who are going to give from 2020 till now, all of them gave the exams in the first chance they got since the pandemic. The first open attempt across the world was May 2021. And there was a 3x volume of candidates giving level one exam. Now, obviously, if your level one exam is at a 3x, you cannot expect that there will be 3x the amount of students who have cleared the exam, right? So hypothetically, 100 students would give level one. Passing rate was 45, right? So you would expect each attempt in the past that out of 100 students, 45 students cleared. That makes sense. But now this time there are 300 students, right? Now you can't expect that if there are 3x the number of students, the pass, this number of students who've passed would be 45 into 3, which is essentially 135. So you just can't say that the number of students increase or number of students who passed also increase. The number of students who've passed, all of them had to be ready and eligible and more importantly, completely qualified to clear the exam. As the volume increases, you by default see a dip in the, number, in the, in the passing result. And that's exactly what happened in the May 21 exam, the volume has caused the dip in the passing rate. If you come back to the next attempt where you, there, are, there is enough time to prepare and people are not mentally unsure and the, the volume of students who are getting level one is almost on the same lines as pre-pandemic, you will see the passing rate rise again. So I hope that if you are confused about the CFA result and you're worried because of the 25% news, don't be. If, most likely would not apply to you. If any part of this message seems like something that you can relate to or share it with somebody who you feel can relate to it, please like, subscribe and share.